let's assume we have a entity class data with a few properties and we also have a repository and this repo repo this repository class is for interacting with our database this class provides the classic for crude operations and the exact exact implementation currently doesn't really matter the, the in, in this case this method just calls uh, works with the database do, do, does a little bit stuff and then we are good so what is if we now want to to start logging each time something happens in this repository the first thing we could do is adding a new line and do the logging right there but that's not a good idea for multi multiple reasons for one the repository class jobs is to interact with the database as i just mentioned and not logging also we modify existing code which goes against the open closed principle a much better way to solve this is the usage of the decorator pattern and to do that we first need to create an interface from our repository with exactly those operations that that are needed from this rep repository to interact with the database and then we create a new class logging decorator or logging repository decorator and this one gets injected with the repository through constructor through the constructor and then in addition to calling the repository method each time a certain method is called we also do the logging here and then we can go to our main program and before we had the logging this was the code was like this where we create our repository and then some stuff happens this stuff is not further and inter more interesting if if we run this we get some errors because it's the wrong project and chuck and we see we we this method this call logging here is the one call we got when we update the data but as we said this is not a good solution so we delete this and then instead of using our original repository we just add the logging decorator here and we put the original repository in the constructor that's all we have changed and now when we run this we have our logging added without changing the original code so this is a much better way to solve this problem through the usage of the decorator pattern and in general the decorator pattern makes usage of a decorator an abstract class usually or an interface since i skipped that in all implementation is a little bit limited but still represents the decorator pattern